A lot of us have transitioned to working from home, including in the news industry. Um, I'm a reporter and anchor in Lafayette, Louisiana, and I just want to show you guys what a typical day looks like for me when I have to anchor from home. My day starts off with a Zoom meeting. I meet with my producer, meteorologist, and reporter. We just go over the stories that we have planned for the day. Then I'll help write some stories that we have in the show or make a few edits to what we do have. Next, I'll pre-record Alexa flash briefings. If you're not familiar with that, it's just a quick little news segment we have on Alexa where we go over the top stories of the day. And I know I look completely ridiculous, but this is the only way that I can get a clear and crisp recording of my voice. I have to hide underneath a blanket. I know it sounds completely ridiculous, but it works. Next, it's time for me to set up the camera. And what's connected to my camera is this. It's called a TVU. It's a really simple device that we use to go live. All you have to do is just tap and then you're live. <laughs> it's a really cool thing. Um, and it really makes it easier for us to give you the newscast from home. And I have two monitors. On one side, I have a teleprompter. And on the other side, I can see a live feed of what you're seeing on TV. And underneath that, it has some of the videos that's coming up. And there's a little tiny teleprompter on the side as well. Now what you can't see is that I have an earpiece. It's hiding underneath my hair. It's where I'm listening in on the show. That's where I'm getting my cues from, from my director back at the studio. Welcome back in Arnaville. A family is pulling out all the stops to celebrate a little girl's birthday. And that's pretty much it. It's kind of really simple. It's not as hard as you would imagine it would be. Um, it's been a learning experience. It's kind of cool knowing that this is possible. We want to make sure that everyone stays safe and also want to make sure that we're giving you the latest news and updates. All right, thank you, Rob. Well, that's all the time we have. We hope you join us again tonight at 10.